Hi all, it's Karishma here from MapleSoft. Today I want to talk about Taylor's series approximation. Sometimes, especially when trying to understand physical phenomenon, we need a way to approximate the value of a function at a point. This is where Taylor series approximations become really helpful. You'll recall that a Taylor series is an expansion of a function to an infinite sum of power terms, where each term has an exponent value greater than the previous term. Taylor series allow you to convert a non-polynomial function, such as sine of x, cos of x, e to the x, into a polynomial representation of that function. And as you might expect, the more terms you include in your approximation, the better your approximation gets. Now, if you don't believe me, use the slider to see how the approximation for sine of x, cos of x, and many other functions get better as you increase the number of terms in the summation. So in this case, let's go ahead and change the value of, of one you'll see that the approximation for sine of x gets better. We can do the same thing for cos of x. So over here, this is when a is equal to 1. Now let's go ahead and change the upper bound of the sum. Now stay tuned for another video where I'll explain how you actually turn a function into a series of infinite terms. That's it for now and thank you so much for watching.